Welcome to Chapter 2 of Diego and the Mysterious Floating Donut. A fun adventure with some math challenges thrown in. As you may remember, if you read Chapter 1, Diego is in his room trying to survive the world's longest donut time out. And after sleeping for a few minutes, he woke up to see that there was a giant donut floating near his wall. Now, let's continue with the story. As Diego walked across his room, he asked himself, Am I dreaming? Or is that really a giant strawberry donut I see floating by my wall? Now, I guess a lot of people would be scared of a giant donut, but because Diego was already six and a half, and because donuts were his favorite food in the entire world, he wasn't feeling scared at all, and he went to inspect the donut more closely. When he got close, he could smell the delicious strawberry frosting and freshly fried dough. He saw that the strawberry donut had a label on it that said 10 pounds. Diego thought that this 10 pound donut was the greatest thing on earth. But what would be even better would be three 10 pound donuts. If each giant donut weighed 10 pounds, how much would three giant donuts weigh? Now would be a good time to pause the video to give yourself some time to think. Well, if each giant donut weighed 10 pounds and there were three of them, one way to solve this would be to count by tens. 10, 20, 30. Three giant donuts weigh 30 pounds. That's a lot of donut. Let's get back to our story. Now Diego was about to eat the entire 10 pound donut when he saw something very strange. He saw that the center of the donut was actually a door with a round doorknob on it. The doorknob was also a donut, chocolate frosted. This was weird and strange, but Diego still wasn't scared. Nothing about donuts had ever been scary to Diego. He reached out and pushed his finger against the doorknob donut. It felt fresh and was still warm. Diego licked his finger and tasted what was the most delicious chocolate frosting he'd ever tasted. Yay! And he wanted more. He licked his finger six times, and then he licked it five more times, and the flavor never ran out. How many times had Diego licked his finger in total? Now might be a good time to pause the video to give yourself some time to think. Well, if he licked his finger six times, and then five more times, we have to find the sum of six and five. Now I know five and five is 10, so six and five must be one more or 11. Diego licked his finger 11 times. Now let's get back to the story. Suddenly something unusual happened. The giant strawberry donut started talking to Diego. Open the door, it said. Open the door to go to the lovely land of donuts. The lovely land of donuts? What's that? asked Diego, who didn't even realize it was strange to be talking to a giant strawberry donut. Open the door and you will see. Diego finally felt a little scared. He'd never met a talking donut before, and he wasn't sure he trusted it. He was also nervous about what could be behind the door. The donut began talking again. Open the door, said the donut. You only have 10 seconds to open the door before I disappear forever. And then, the timer on the door started counting down from 10 in big red numbers. Now Diego was even more scared. He had to make a decision, and that wasn't one of his strengths. Should he just go back to his bed and sleep? Or should he listen to the giant floating strawberry donut? Diego thought about it, and then turned around to go back to his bed to sleep. But as he walked away, he realized a place called the lovely land of donuts sounded too delicious to ignore. So he spun back around, and when the timer only had three seconds left, he touched the doorknob and the timer stopped. How many seconds had passed before Diego had stopped the timer? 
Now might be a good time to pause the video to give yourself some time to think. Well, if there had been 10 seconds on the timer, and there are only three seconds left, we do have to figure out how many seconds had passed. We can use our ways to make tens fact to solve this. If we know there's three seconds left and we started with 10, we can say three plus seven is 10. So seven seconds must have passed. Let's get back to our story. You've made the right decision, said the strawberry donut. Anyone who loves donuts will want to be in the lovely land of donuts. I hope so, said Diego. And with a deep breath, he grabbed the chocolate donut doorknob and pulled the door open. He saw that it was dark behind the door, and after a few seconds, he began to smell something. It was the aroma of freshly made donuts. The smell made Diego forget that he'd been scared, so he stepped through the door into the darkness. The second he did, the door slammed shut behind him. Hey! yelled Diego, and he tried to open the door, but it was locked. Diego was scared again. He couldn't get back into his room, so he started to bang on the door. Too bad nobody heard him. His mother was busy on her treadmill. Behind the door, Diego's eyes eventually began to adjust to the darkness, and he saw that he was at the bottom of a long tube. He also saw that there was a ladder attached to the inside of the tube. Diego realized that he was stuck behind the locked door and had no choice but to climb the ladder. Maybe there would be a way out on top. Diego began to climb. He climbed and climbed and climbed. He climbed for three minutes and then for six more minutes and then he climbed for one more minute. How many minutes had he climbed for in total? Now might be a good time to pause the video to give yourself some time to think. Well, if Diego had climbed for three minutes, then six minutes, then one minute, we have to add those three numbers together. I can see that three and one is four, and six and four we know is 10 from our tens facts. Diego had climbed for 10 minutes in total. Now, let's get back to our story. Diego continued climbing up the ladder. As he climbed, he realized the smell of freshly made donuts was getting stronger. Was he getting closer to the lovely land of donuts? Again, Diego became so excited that he forgot that he'd been scared. As he climbed, Diego came to a small platform. On the platform, he saw two boxes. He opened the boxes and saw that one box had seven donuts in it and one box had six donuts. How many donuts were in the boxes in total? Now might be a good time to pause the video to give yourself some time to think. Well, if one box had seven donuts in it and one had six donuts in it, we have to find the sum of seven and six. Now, I know that seven and seven is 14 from a doubles facts. So seven and six must be one less or 13. You also might know that seven and three is 10. So if you take three away from six, you have three left and 10 and three is 13. Either way, you get 13 donuts. Now let's get back to the story. Diego was about to eat all 13 of the donuts when he decided that a place called the Lovely Land of Donuts would probably have a lot of donuts and he should probably save some room in his tummy. Diego compromised and ate two of the donuts. How many of the 13 donuts were left? Now might be a great time to pause the video to give yourself some time to think. Well, if Diego started with 13 donuts and ate two of them, we have to figure out how many were left. One way we can do this is by counting back. We have 13 and we count back twice. 12, 11. Diego had 11 donuts left. Now, 
let's get back to the story. After eating the donuts, Diego began climbing again. He climbed seven more flights on the ladder and stopped when he realized he was surrounded by hundreds of mini donuts that were attached to the wall of the tube. Since he was still hungry, he reached out to get one of the mini donuts to eat. While he reached, he lost his grip on the ladder and began to fall. Diego yelled as he fell and fell and fell. He fell one flight, then two flights, then three flights altogether. He was screaming loudly when he luckily landed on a giant, freshly made chocolate cream donut. The donut was soft and Diego squished into the sweet filling. Now if Diego had climbed up seven flights and then fell down three flights, how many flights had he actually gone up in total? Now might be a good time to pause the video to give yourself some time to think. Well, one way to solve this is by counting back. He got up seven flights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they had fallen down three flights. So let's count back three times. One, two, three. And you can see he had landed on the fourth floor. So altogether, Diego had gone up four floors. Now, let's climb back to the story. Although he'd fallen, Diego was determined to tough it out and continue climbing until he got to the top of the tube. First, he ate the entire giant chocolate donut that he'd landed on and then began climbing again. I'm going to get to the lovely land of donuts if it's the last thing I do, he thought. As he climbed, he was much slower because his stomach was full of at least 10 pounds of donut. He felt heavy. Ugh. If Diego had weighed 42 pounds when he started, but gained 10 pounds, how many pounds did he weigh now? This might be a good time to pause the video to give yourself some time to think. Well, if Diego weighed 42 pounds and gained 10 more pounds, one way to solve this is by just keeping the ones place the same, which is two, then going up one more 10. 42 plus 10 is 52. Now, let's get back to the story. Finally, Diego began to pass the mini donuts again. This time, he decided not to reach out for them. As he kept going up the ladder, he saw bigger and bigger donuts attached to the wall. Pretty soon, he was passing donuts that were at least 10 feet tall. Suddenly, he saw a light coming into the tube. It was coming from the top. He began to climb faster. He really wanted to get to the lovely land of donuts. If the light was 10 floors away when he first saw it, but he climbed four floors, how many floors would Diego still have to climb before he reached the light at the top of the tube? Now might be a good time to pause the video to give yourself some time to think. Well, one way to solve this, and there are many, is by using our tens facts. That will show us what we need to add to four to make 10. Since four plus six is a tens fact, we can see that Diego had six more floors to climb to make 10 floors and reach the light at the top of the tunnel. Now, let's get back to our story. Finally, Diego reached the top of the tube. The smell of fresh donuts surrounded his entire body. It was as if he was floating in an ocean of donuts. Diego crawled out of the tube, looked around, and he couldn't believe what he saw. It was the lovely land of donuts, and it was lovely. There were donuts everywhere. There were donut trees. The sun was a donut. The clouds in the sky were donuts. Car wheels were donuts. Basketballs were donuts. Even pizza was made out of donuts. Diego was so happy he screamed, yes, sweet. And he pulled himself out of the tube right into the lovely land of donuts. Read chapter three to find out what happens next. 
or check out one of my math music videos to help learn and review your addition and subtraction facts.